Hello. Uh, this section is going to be on LOD creation. And, uh, yeah, here's the pillar. Um, I've already got my materials set up. So I've got just my main material, uh, decal, extra, and a proxy. Uh, whatever you do, do not uh, physicalize your main geometry. That's so bad for performance. You definitely want to make a collision mesh and then apply the proxy material to it. And here's the setup. Just check the box, physicalize, physical proxy, no draw. And usually I set it up like this with like a bright color and some opacity just so I can pick out the proxy easier. So I'm just going to actually uh, detach that for right now. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, oh yeah, the other thing about proxies, uh, the engine actually picks up the difference between a um, primitive and a like a regular modeled proxy, it calculates primitives quicker. So like having this just as a cube is much better. Or like, uh, like it'd be better to have this as as a combination of a bunch of boxes as opposed to one object that has uh, extruded faces. So like right here it's not giving me enough detail right now so actually I'm just gonna duplicate it and bring that all down bring this one up and I'll go into the other view to do this part there. Now I have like this lower area that can be collided with and it'll it'll work out better. But yeah, just having two different uh, cubes works best. And we'll attach those. And actually I'm going to hide that um, proxy for right now. Because this is about LODs. Clone it, and then uh, turn off your original mesh so it's only the one you want for your LED, and then just start deleting off these pieces. And there you go, you've got your your LOD. And that works sometimes. Other times, I have to like go in and actually weld verts together to get your LOD. Um, it just depends, but that's a really good time-saving workflow is just deleting off chunks and seeing how it looks like silhouette-wise and keep going until you get the right uh, poly count. But to make LODs worth it, you have to step down by um, half. Like, like our top level uh, mesh here is 3,000 tries. So the next level down should be about 1,500. And I've actually made all my LODs already. I'm going to reattach the... Okay, so on this um, proxy, you should apply the material and also apply a single smooth group to the entire thing. That's something that you'll find in the Crytek documentation that's kind of a uh, small thing, but I would follow that. Anyway, um, I'm going to merge that together. Oops. Need to attach. There we go. So I've got this high level mesh, and then I've also got this one. 
which is about 1500 and turn on wire and I actually did weld um, vertices together in order to get this and then another one um, that is even lower poly anyway we'll reset those back to zero and you want to make sure they're all right on top of each other and basically the setup in max here is like this um, okay so this is the 1500 one it's labeled wow for right now and you'll want to call it dollar sign LOD1 underscore and then the name of the object pillar and then just link it up in schematic view and do the same thing for this one except for on this one you do LOD2 and then pillar and you also link this one to the pillar not to the level down and that's pretty much the setup for LODs like it's pretty simple especially once you get the hang of it um, yeah should be good to go oh yeah um, you won't need proxies for your lower level meshes or your um, your LODs at lower levels here in the asset creation guide for Crytek um, it just talks about how it should step down by half blah 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 and they say to link it up like this dollar sign LOD1 space then the um, object name that's just straight up wrong it doesn't work like that um, you definitely need the underscore in there so just FYI uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that um, this is super nice debug draw 3 um, basically when you have the editor open you can paste that into the console and it should bring up your LODs and show you like for each object this is the number of LODs there's three LODs that's number one and as you go away it'll switch colors to the next LOD and you'll be able to see if it's working correctly or not um, if the thing you're working on um, like if the LODs aren't working and you try to re-export and open it up in the editor it won't update the LODs you'll have to reload the entire editor but it's yeah that's the way it works anyway for other objects like these ones that are flashing that means this one doesn't have LODs at all so that means um, it definitely needs to be made uh, these ones they're gray because the uh, poly count is low enough that it doesn't require LODs I would highly, highly recommend making LODs for each of your objects.